cloud. When I read, I always gotta think back to the cloud. All of my details are gonna come to my cloud, like condensation. And then when I write, that's precipitation. All my ideas are gonna be written down on paper. All right, so your central idea is, why was trade important? Why was that exchange of items important in the African settlement, in those African communities? If you feel comfortable with the prompt, uh, wiggle your pinky. We right. understand settlement. The prompt just popped yeah. up. I need everyone to yell because it's on your paper, it's on the board, it's on the anchor chart. We are looking for ideas. Main ideas. All right, so I'm going to model to you how to find those main ideas using these strategies. So then when you have source two, that's what you're doing with your partner. That's our goal today, okay? All right, let's carry on. Paragraph one, Leilani, nice and loud. Start with the title. Ancient, Saharan, routes or routes, you could say it either way, ancient Saharan trade routes. Go ahead, honey. Paragraph one. Honey, for being our first reader, please track with me. The Sahara is a vast desert in northern Africa. It stretches from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to the Red Sea in the east. Vast desert. Is this an itty bitty desert? No. No, it is what? A uh, uh, community. Vast. So what does vast mean? Like a big old. Huge, large, big. I have context clues because it says it stretches from the Atlantic Ocean all the way to the east side, the Red Sea. Its sizes has harsh conditions. It makes travel hazardous. Is this an easy place to travel? No. No. Nevertheless, trade thrived there in the 1700s to the 1500s. It continues to this day. So even though it's dangerous and it's enormous and vast, people are still doing what there, Leilani? What are they doing there? They're trading. They're still trading. Do we know what they're trading yet? No. We don't know yet. So let's find yeah, out the main idea. Awesome. We have the title, Saharan Trade Routes. Do we have repeated words? Mm. Not yet, no. just Sahara. Uh, let's look at the first sentence. It's a vast desert. Let's look at the last sentence. It continues to this day. Trade, we're talking about trade. So ask yourself, what is most important? What is my main idea? Turn and talk with your partner. What, what is, is the main, main idea of paragraph one? No, wait. Halfway there. You guys definitely know we're talking about trade, right? Trade is here, and trade is also here. Are those repeated words? Yes. Correct. But now I'm asking you, where is the trade happening? What's the other repeated word? In the Sahara Desert. So my main idea is the Sahara is harsh but the trade thrived. That means the trade was successful. So you could write a little annotation here or here. Trade. Can we like write it in our own way? Yes, perfect. Trade in the Sahara. So is the Sahara trading? Thrive, which yeah. means it People went well. Trade, right? It was successful. So just change it so it makes sense. All right. You always have. You just got to say. That's how I annotated a margin. They get annotated in the margin, right? Something like this. So do you. If you have notebook paper, I would say mm -hmm. source one. Right. It's exactly what you wrote. So here in trade. And then we can do main idea one. So that's main idea one. And then you're going to have a list of main ideas that's going to help you plan when we do our writing. Does that help? All right, paragraph two, Jasmine, long ago. Long ago. Berber. 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 
Sediment grew to become an important center of trade. As the trade increased, so did wealth. So did the wealth and power of the West African Good job. Good job, Jasmine. That was a chunky paragraph. I'm proud of you. Please track the text with me when we read it a second time. Long ago, let me see those pencils under the words, Berber merchants established a network of trade routes across the Sahara. These routes linked markets from North Africa to the Middle East and Europe with markets in West Africa. So partner B, tell partner A what do you think a merchant is? What does a merchant do? Look for clues. What is a merchant? Partner B, lead the conversation. I, I, what is a merchant? I think a merchant is a establishment. I heard great connections. Jasmine said merchants have a network where they trade, kind of like sending packages today in the mail, like the UPS. That's what that's what you said as well. And so trade is a clue right here. Um, our image right here is a trade. Uh, Kajana's like, well, is this a merchant? Yeah, she's using her images, her illustrations, to bring in those context clues. So merchant is the person who is doing the trading. Tyree was trying to compare it to a corporation, a company. Oh, okay. And yeah. uh, he even added, yeah, that they have products that they're moving and selling. Very yeah, very a person who trades, or in today's lingo, a salesperson, a salesman. I like person, because that includes the ladies. A salesperson. So when people come and knock at your door and they want to sell you something, that would technically be a merchant. They're coming around and they're traveling to sell you something that is a merchant, all right? And there was tons of details that Jasmine read here. The merchants regularly cross the Sahara African settlement. So here are the merchants crossing the Sahara. They traded salt, horses, cloth, and later books for gold, metals, spices, and other items from farther south. Berber and African merchants made profits. Do we know what profits means? Money. They made money, yes. So look at this cause and effect. They were making profit, so trade increased. And as a result, here's the effect. African settlements grew to become what? This is very important. This is the effect. Settlements grew to become important trade centers. Can we underline that? That's a huge effect. I'm going to label this because this is important. Here's an effect. And here's my cause, the line right above it. And there's my keywords. Circle so and as a result. Those are buzzwords. When you see so and as a result, we're talking about cause and effect, tie in what we did yesterday, right? So we talked about merchants.
merchants? What strategy we would use in an anchor chart? Does the title help us find the main idea? No. Are there repeated words in this paragraph? Yes. Yes. Yep. Merchants. And then we have tons of details. Do I need to know what the merchants sell right now? No. No, that's a detail. Let's write our main idea. I'm going to come around and verify. What is the main idea of paragraph two? Partner A, lead the discussion. Jot it down in your margin. What is the main idea of paragraph two? Online scholars, I'm going to write it here for you. Main idea.